All right, today class, I'm going to explain the trick that we did last week. We're going to repeat the trick as well, so you'll know the trick I'm talking about. I need to ask 10 people to give me a random digit between 1 and 9. You could have 1, you could have 9. So, Lanny. 9. Larissa. 5. Ben. 3. Jaslyn. 6. Ryan. 5. Katie. 2. Patrick G. 7. Patrick C. 4. Dong Jun. 9. And Sherry. 1. Okay, so what Lindsay has to do, and you will remember if you were here, she adds these two together, writes down the result. If it's more than nine, she subtracts nine. And she, did, she does that for the first row, then she does the same thing. So while she's doing that, I'm going to predict her answer, and then I'm going to start working on an explanation over here. So go ahead, Lindsay. Okay. Don't Jen tells me it's low battery, but I, I re just recharged them. Did I not put the, the recharged batteries in there? Just keep, keep running until it dies. Hopefully it won't die. I, I did recharge that. Okay, so I'm going to predict Lindsay's answer long before she gets to it. If I do it right. I believe this is the answer. Oh, she's going to tell Lindsay. And then I'm going to work on the general result over here. a certain number of nines up here. I'll just I'll say K nines. And here you have to subtract a certain, certain number of nines. I'll say L times nine. Because if the, any of these numbers were over nine, like this one was 14, Lindsay had to subtract nine. I don't know how many times you'd have to subtract nine because I don't know what these letters are. But ignore that for the moment. If you keep doing this, I'll do it one more time here. You're going to get A plus 3B plus 3C plus D. And over here you'll get G plus 3H plus 3I plus J. It should look even more like Pascal's triangle. So if you do it all the way down to the very last row, so 10 rows all together, including this one, you get A plus 9B. Can anybody predict these numbers? Do you know, do you know this far? You may not know Pascal's triangle this far down. 84D plus 126E, and then it reversed itself, so 126F plus 84G plus 36H plus 9I plus J. Of course, you have to subtract a whole bunch of nines. I don't know how many nines you have to subtract, but because this is a multiple of nine, if you subtract a whole bunch of nines, this is going to disappear. This is a whole bunch of nines, because nine goes into 36, that's going to disappear. So these will disappear. 84 is not divisible by nine, but 84 is 81 plus three, right? So the 81 times D is going to disappear by subtracting a whole bunch of nines. So this is going to be, this, we're going to be left with 3G here, just like we're left with 3D here. Nine goes into 126, how many times? Does it go evenly? Yes. 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 How many times? 16. 16. What? No. no, no. 14. 14. So this is divisible by 9. So those are going to disappear when you subtract all these 9s. So what do I end up with? I end up with A plus 3D plus 3G plus J. And that's how I got this number really quickly. As you might remember, I take this one and this one. That's like... D and G, add them up, multiply by 3, add the first and the last, and then I divide this by 9 and take 
you get a quotient, you get a number, plus you get a remainder. Now that remainder still has to be divided by nine. If I didn't get rid of all the nines over here, I'd get rid of the rest of them by dividing by nine. Because you throw this number away. You take the remainder after you divide that answer by nine. So when I did the numerator, I got 30, no, I got 49. You can check it, but I got 49. Divided by nine, you get five with a remainder of four. So that's why it had to be a four over here. Really this four, if you write it out mathematically, it's four divided by nine. But it's just, the, it's just that number that you take. Nice. Hold on, there it is, it's all based on it wasn't explained in the magic book, but I figured it out. Thank you, Dong Jun. The battery's lasted? Yes. All right.